Hey guys, so today we're going to be using eBay to find products to sell on eBay. So let's head over to eBay and dive in. So this is just another method of finding products that you can sell yourselves. So instead of starting on a retailer's website like Argos, Amazon, Walmart or whoever you're using, you can also use eBay to find other dropshippers and find products to sell. Now by doing this, is pretty much the same way as the other method so what we're going to do is think of a keyword and type it in we're going to do kitchen take that off cap locks caps lock hold on uh, kitchen let's go for a kitchen bin so now what we're going to do is just scroll down until I see a product that pops out at me and it looks like a dropshipper now over time you get an eye for this and you you can really see dropshippers against normal sellers. Dropshippers mainly use just normal stock photos and their titles are more optimised than normal sellers. So as we scroll down, see if anything pops out at me. I just want to go for a single product as well. So keep scrolling. Possibly a sponsored as well. Keep scrolling. Argos. 87. Just keep looking. This looks like a drop shipper. 23 watching. Let's take a little look at that. I'll open that up in a new tab. Keep looking. So. This looks like. A potential dropshipper as well. I'll open that. Now the main reason for doing this, we're not directly trying to find products to sell, but we're looking for other dropshippers who are already selling stuff so we can go through their best selling items and see if we want to sell them ourselves. So I'm just going to keep scrolling. Keep looking. That's potentially one. 68. Uh, scroll down. That's four we can look at. Potentially as well. Um, okay, let's just have a look at them. Scroll up. Yeah, so let's take a look at this. We'll go to this end one first. So, the way we find out if they are another dropshipper, what we can do is go down to their description, highlight part of it, right click and search in Google. Now if this is a dropshipper, this will bring up the retailer that they are using. Okay, we potentially have another dropshipper. It says Amazon here, 68 litre. Yep, yeah, let's take a look at that. So, how much are they selling it for? They're selling it for forty-two ninety-nine, fifty-nine ninety-nine. Nope, that's not it. So let's go back one. Let's take a look at this one. Oh no, that's fifty-eight. Nope. So we're gonna close this tab. Close that tab. Take a look at this one. Potentially, save channel, sounds like it could be a dropshipper. Again, let's go to the description. Okay, this looks like a dropshipper. So we'll take that. Right click, search in Google. Six best, no. 48 litre. Scroll up. Doesn't say there, so thirty nine ninety nine. Let's take a little look. Oh, come on then. Okay, sixty eight. Nope, that's not it. So let's close that one. Open this one. So you're doing it this way from Argos. Unless you know what you're looking for, it can take a while to find other dropshippers. Whereas if you're using a retailer's website and starting from there, 
it's a lot easier and faster to find other drop drop shippers. But you can find some really good products and sellers doing it this way. So don't rule out this method. So let's scroll down, take this, right click, search in Google. eBay, 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 okay. Let's take the features, search. Now once you have found dropshippers or items that you want to sell, you can either do snoptimization or sniping. I prefer snoptimization. Wait, what's this? 50 litre Roth, Rotho? No. Let's take this title, search that. Okay, Amazon. They're selling it for $24.99. Currently unavailable. Okay, so this does look like a drop shipper. So now what I'm going to do, we're just going to go and have a look at its sold listings and see if we can make sure it's a dropshipper that way. So let's go to see other items. They've got a lot of feedback as well. If this is a dropshipper, they've been doing it a long time. So let's... Yeah, it looks like a dropshipper. Might be wrong, but let's go to their completed listings. So... Scroll down, £10.25. Let's have a look at this one. So let's open that up, take a little look. See, as you can see, this method does oh, this method does take a little bit longer. So let's scroll down and let's see, see original listing. I'll go up, come up. Now I'm just going to, oh, the item is no longer available. Let's scroll down anyway. Let's take this. And let's take the title. Let me close that tab. Just copy that. Search in Google. Let's take a little look. How much are they selling it for? Scroll up. Oh, let's go back one. Twelve ninety nine. So that's got to be at least seven quid if they are drop shipping. It's like home base. No. 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 Close that one. Oh, come on. <whistles> Only want to identify that they are definitely a dropshipper. So let's scroll down. Okay, maybe they're not. So what we're going to do is just close that and go and find a different, I different item. So we haven't found any dropshippers yet. Like I said, sometimes this method takes a little bit longer especially if you're not used to it. So let's go down to the second page. Let's go there. Six ninety nine. Slim, stainless steel, new. Let's take a look at that. So this video is going to go a little bit longer than I would like, but hey, it's part of the training. So let's go to, no, let's scroll down and just check this item. Reprice it. Nice bin. Let's go to here. Search in Google. Now I assure you this method does work. Hold on. Sabichi blue slimline. 16 piece. 
No, this is a bin. It's not 16 piece. Scroll down a little bit. Let's take that. Search that. Seventeen two five eight seven. Seventeen two five eight seven. Okay, looks like this is on Amazon. Let's see how much it's set. How much it is for on Amazon? So they're selling it for twenty four pounds sixty seven. It is currently on sale for eleven pound seventy eight. Okay, so I think we've identified a drop shipper. Now what I want to do is go to their sold listings. Again, now that I've identified a dropshipper, let's just take a look at their feedback quick actually. What I would do is put this store name into a spreadsheet and build out a sellers list. That way we'll always have a bunch of sellers or dropshippers we can always go to to see their best selling items and potentially sell them ourselves. Very, very cheap and poor. Disappointed. Selling cheap headphones. Battery die. Different tracking numbers being given. Okay. Yeah, this is a drop shipper. So let's go to view items for sale. We'll just do one more item just to make sure they are a drop shipper. So let's go to their sold listings. But here, if they are, there can't be a lot of profit margin on that. Let's just go above 20. See, there's so many different ways that you can actually find items to sell or drop ship. There's just a whole different bunch of methods to finding products. And this is just another method. Let's open this. So, straight away by looking at the titles, it looks like a drop shipper. I don't know why, but I tend to put new as well sometimes if I've got three characters left. Really no point, so I don't know why I do it, but let's open this. Oh, he's selling in the US market as well. Yeah, this is a drop shipper. So let's let's take some of this. If it will let me. Let's just take from there. We'll take that. Right click, search. Probably going to bring up a US retailer. Amazon.co.uk Amazon Just do that again. Take this from there. So let's right click, search in Google. Keeps coming up Amazon.com. Maybe it is then. Look at that. Yeah, this tight because this title is different from the eBay title. I'm presuming they've only just taken the title straight from wherever their retailer is and put it in the description. So let's go there. Okay, so it's $32.99 and they're selling it for $15.99. So this is definitely a drop shipper. Again, now what I would do is save this save this store name into a spreadsheet, build out a sellers list, then I would go through all of its sold listings and see if there's anything that I would want to list myself with a decent enough profit margin. Now, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and also go and hit subscribe and turn on post notifications so you don't miss a thing. That being said, I've been Paddy, this has been Stacking Profit, and I'll see you again soon.